This doesn't come along every day. We have two phenomenon that have joined together to produce a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, Zeresh tells Haman, go to the king and tell the king to hang Mordechai. What do you mean, tell the king to hang Mordechai? Don't you need to ask the king? Don't you need to petition the king? No, tell the king. Apparently, Haman had the ability to tell the king what to do. And then, v'nahapaychu, that all turned on him. Which means that if Haman had the opportunity to tell the king what to do, on Purim, we could also, so to speak, tell the king. We could go to Yvonne and sort of be goyzer, and Hashem will fulfill our requests. So we have this concept that the power of Purim is so strong that we could almost tell Hashem what to do. And then we have another great principle, and that principle is if you need something, and you daven for your friend, Hashem will answer you first. If you need parnasa, you need shaduchim, you need nachas, and you daven for someone else, you will be answered first. Imagine if we could combine these two principles, where we daven for a friend, for something that we need, and we daven for it on Purim. That's an unbeatable uh, combination. So my friend, Repinchas Brandeis, started something called powerofpurim.org. You submit a name. You need nachas from a kid, you need parnasa, you need whatever you need. You need shaduchim. You submit a name, and then the, this website will give you back a, a name of someone to daven for. So you will be tapping in both to the power of Purim and to the Kayach of davening for somebody who needs something that you need for. So this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Take advantage, submit your name, you will pray for the name that's given to you, and may Hashem answer all of our tefillahs on this holy day. Baruch HaMim